Hello! Today I would like to demonstrate a finished bone multilink feature. This feature allows to link uh, complex shapes to the bone with uh, just a single click. This feature was developed uh, for a long time already. For certain reasons it got finished um, only now. Uh, here we have a character. We will try to uh, link his leg to the skeleton, this leg. Okay, so first of all we will need a skeleton, so we right click on the layer, choose new layer, over and uh, skeleton. Here we have a skeleton layer. Well, let's uh, transform our character, let's make a closer look like this to his leg. Okay. And uh, since we have transformed this group, the skeleton and the group uh, and the group contents uh, now reside in the different transformation spaces. Things uh, will not work correctly in this case, so we need to put skeleton in the same transformation space as the group contents, which we will be linking. We place it skeleton inside of this group. Okay. Now we can configure this bone for this part of the image. The automatic linking is defined by the bone influence area. We can set bone influence area uh, by using the width handles, which we can enable here. Just click on this button. So we have with handles appeared and we can configure bone over the particular part of the image. Otherwise it will be like this. Okay, now we are going to create a next bone. So I am just right click on the bone tip and choose uh, create child bone. Here I have a new bone created. Uh, you can see that uh, it have inherited the width of the parent bone, which is uh, quite useful. And now I'm going to place it like this. And uh, now we will need one more bone for food. So right click, create child bone and let's place it. Okay, so we have a character leg covered by the bone uh, influence area. Let's put uh, a skeleton a few layers down so it will uh, get out of our way like this and uh, let's see how the leg is uh, defined the leg is defined by two groups this one and this one each uh, group contains many elements uh, with many points. So first of all I am going to link a first group to the skeleton. I need to select all, all the elements inside of this group so I just right click on it and choose select all child layers and now I have all child layer layers selected. Now I need to select all points of those layers. So I just uh, go to work area and hit Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all. So I've got all points selected. Uh, now I also need to select a skeleton layer itself. So I hold Ctrl key on the keyboard and uh, click on the skeleton layer. 
So the skeleton layer is uh, added to selection and the points remain selected at the same time. Uh, so now I can link those selected points to the skeleton. I'm just... Uh, well, let's disable this. I'm just uh, right click on any skeleton point and choose link to skeleton. Okay, now we have all those points linked to the skeleton. Let's uh, see if the rig works correctly. Let's get to the skeleton layer and move it. Well, this is pretty much okay. Of course, the shape is distorted here. We have uh, two tricks here. First of all, we can uh, move the bone origin. And this, we, we can get a desirable results and uh, second we can edit the points link it to the skeleton and uh, make them place it as we want okay now let's uh, i'm pressing ctrl z to undo my changes because we still need to link a foot to the skeleton so I repeat the process for this group. I'm doing the same, just uh, selecting everything inside by right clicking on the group and choosing select all layers. Then I go to work area and press Ctrl A. So I have all points selected. I also can use rectangle selection to select just some of the points, but in this case I need all of them to be selected. Then I'm holding control on keyboard and uh, left uh, clicking with the left mouse button on the skeleton. So I've got a skeleton selected. Now, since I have all points selection remaining, I can right click on any skeleton point and choose link to skeleton. Okay, so I have it linked now. Let's see if uh, it's linked correctly. Okay, this is how the bone multilink feature work. I hope you like it. Uh, this feature is uh, already available in our regular development snapshots, which you can download on Synfig website and try by yourself. So this is all what I wanted to demonstrate today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.